Hey guys, uh, back again with the vlog. Today I'm out here in the streets. Um, this place is called Boran or Boran or Buran, something like that reserve. It is, as you can see, not a skate park, although it is skatable. Uh, we've got like uh, a one person, or if you want to play doubles, two person tennis court with a wall. The wall is curved. Um, tennis court here, basketball court there and a bunch of ledges and stuff like that but the majority of them have skate stops on them which is poo but uh over there there's a gentleman playing basketball and near him there is a curved ledge without skate stoppers on it so i'm hopefully going to be able to go over there once he's sort of moved on uh, and get some tricks for you definitely do a nose slide definitely do a crooked grind uh and maybe try and get some front side stuff um but before we do that here is some um, warm-up flat ground stuff that I just did. I'm not going to bore you with everything I've done, but these ones felt good, so I'll put those in there. There you go, three little flatties for you. Um, Normally when I skate, obviously because I normally skate skate parks, I like to just pump around the park for 10-15 minutes before I do anything, but you can't really do that here when there's no transition or anything like that, so I have to start off with some scabby flatland action. Um, I actually came here yesterday, uh, which is why I'm back here today, because I had a good time here yesterday, and got a wall ride on this wall. I'm pretty sure it's the first one I've ever done, I don't remember doing one uh, any other time, so I'm going to put that clip in here now. Uh, so there you go, there's my first ever wall ride. Um, good news is, uh, my man who was over there playing basketball has gone. Uh, the bad news is that there are some, there's like a family sitting over on the ledge that I want to skate. And considering this isn't actually a skate park, I can't just go over and ask him to leave. Uh, um, for once, I'm invading their territory as opposed to them invading my territory. Um, but we're going to have a roll around and see if there's anything else we can do. Um, I'm not sure what, but that's the creative side of skateboarding coming through. Let's, let's see if we can make something out of nothing. So bear with me um, and we'll, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I think that my skill ratio to years skating ratio might be the worst on the planet. Uh, I've been skating for almost, well, I'll say 18 years now, and that kickflip, which like is a normal length kickflip, like if I was just doing that kickflip without the gutter thingy being there, no issue. But the second you put any sort of obstacle in my way, it takes me forever. Um, and even though I did get that, finally, it was gross. Uh, I'm not gonna go back and redo it because it just took me forever. Um, but the good thing is it did kill time. So now I can go and do something I'm a little bit more comfortable with and I'm gonna go no slide that ledge because there's nobody over there at the moment. So hopefully that doesn't take me forever. Street skating is hard. Um, yeah, it's the little things that sort of throw you off. With that crook grunt, it, one of those things, it took me heaps longer than it should have. But I think it's because A, the ledge is curved. And where I want to pop, that crack is right there. So I sort of have to pop a little bit further out than I normally would like to. Uh, and it was throwing me off heaps bad, but uh, we got it. So put that one in the can and let's move on. Hey guys. Um, as you can see, I'm no longer uh, out in the streets. I'm here in my house. Um, 
whilst I was at the Boron Reserve, Boron Reserve, however you want to pronounce it, whatever, uh, a whole bunch of people showed up just after I got that cooker grind, got too busy, so I decided to call it a day. Um, that was Tuesday. Today is now Thursday. So um, this is going to get a little bit complicated. Uh, recently I switched boards. So I was riding my folklore board, which I, I loved. It was an amazing board. They're always really good boards. I've had a few of them, never broken one. Um, the pop on them is amazing, really, really good boards, but I like to retire my boards before they get too thrashed. So that if I do break a board, I've got a little bit of a stockpile of boards to use, um, in the meantime, when I don't have to miss out on skating or rush out and spend money on a new board or anything like that. Um, recently I've been saving all my pennies, uh, mowing lawns and raking leaves and that sort of things. Legitimately, that's what I've been doing. Um, and I went out and I bought uh, this. Uh, it's a zero deck. It's a Dane Berman Pro model. Uh, it's my normal size, which is an eight and a half. Uh, and I've had quite a few sessions on it. Well, not quite a few, but I've had a few sessions on it. Um, but it doesn't seem to be agreeing with me. Um, it doesn't feel quite right. I, I can't quite skate the way I'd like to. I'm not sure what that is. Like I said, it's an eight and a half. Um, it's not like it's a crazy shape or anything. It's just a normal shape. Um, but I think maybe it's too flexy and doesn't isn't quite as stiff and poppy as I am used to. Um, and I think maybe that's contributing to why I'm not skating as well as I would like to. So, uh, in the interest of science, uh, what I'm going to do is go back to this primitive board that I got. Now, like I said, I like to change my boards up before they get too thrashed. So this one's still in really good nick. Um, doesn't even really have pressure cracks or anything like that. Uh, I just retired it because I got the new board. Uh, for my birthday a couple of months ago. So um, what I'm going to do is set this one up um, and hopefully go for a more successful shred. Hopefully get a little bit of my confidence back. Uh, hopefully feel a little, 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 hopefully feel a little bit more comfortable on my board. Um, and I can go back to creating decent quality con well, not decent quality content by my standards. Um, my whole idea of taking that little break was to go and learn a bunch of new tricks and come back with some fresh stuff for you. Um, and unfortunately that hadn't happened. I sustained a bunch of injuries. So I cracked my rib, hurt my tailbone, my wrist feels funky, uh, and a whole bunch of other things. So yeah, like I said, whilst I wanted to go away and learn some new tricks, um, that didn't get to happen. So now that I'm back on a board and I'm starting to skate again, I was really hoping that this zero deck was going to be, you know, freshness and help me get those new tricks and all that sort of stuff. And it hasn't worked out the way it was supposed to. So like I said, I'm going to set up this primitive board, see how that goes. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can get some new stuff. I do have some tricks that I've been working on off camera. I'm not going to say anything about them because uh, they may not come to fruition. Um, but bear with me, hopefully I can, like I said, get some more stuff, get some good videos for you, get some good clips, and we can go from there. So I'm gonna set this up. While I do that, I'm gonna show you some stuff I did yesterday at Chelsea Skate Park, which I was still on the zero board. Uh, again, not a great session. Uh, I think I got five or six clips there, um, and none of them were as crisp or as clean or as nice or as quick as I would like to have gotten them. So. Um, you check out those clips, I'll set up this board and hopefully if the rain holds off, which it might do, we'll go for a roll today at the Bentley Park, which is my local, where I'm quite comfortable. Um, and who knows, maybe we can, maybe we can have some luck. So yeah, uh, check out these clips and I will catch you guys shortly.
yeah so here we are guys i made it up to the bentley park um just me and this one other dude here there was another dude skating around before but he's gone um i'm gonna start off with uh my basics that i haven't already done to death in this video so i might try a 5-0 um, and then we'll go from there. I'm not going to do 50-50s, no slides, crook grinds, you've seen those to death. Um, but just to try and get a feel for this board and to make sure that it's the board and not me that sucks. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start with that one. So, 5-0 coming up. Let's, uh, let's get it. Uh, there we go, um, front side 5.0, which actually felt pretty smooth, I don't know how it looked, but it felt pretty good. Uh, and a bonus front side nose grind, which I haven't done for a little while, and, you know, as usual, we cased on it, but we'll take it. Um, one of the things that I was really struggling with on that zero deck were tail slides. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm like a pro at tail slides or anything like that, but I can usually do them at least a little bit, uh, and I couldn't even come close before, so... Um, we're going to give one of those a crack and see if we have any more luck. So, yeah, let's try that one. There we go. The very rarely seen frontside tail slide to forward. Um, I don't know if it actually slid that far but I did feel like I was in control of it. I think the ledge is just a little bit sticky. Uh, I definitely found it on the nose grind that it was gripping a little bit more than I liked, but I don't want to wax too much on a tail slide because you slide out pretty easily on them. So um, yeah, I'll take that considering I couldn't even get into one the other day. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, let's see what else. There we go, a little bit of a bank session there. Heel flip, kick flip, pop shove, front shove. Um, safe to say I'm feeling more comfortable on my board. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's because of the board or just because the, the bad mojo is passing, but happy we got that one. Uh, we got the bonus little manual for you as well, which it's always good to be rolling on two wheels, as I always say. Um, we might leave it there, guys. So. Remember, whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's skating or just living life in general, always try to make today just a little bit better than yesterday. See you guys.